Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the Hive 852032 Hubless Mini Wireless Heating Smart Thermostat Installation Guide. Installation Order Install hub weight until the hub flashes amber. Install receiver weight until the status light flashes amber. Add thermostat it will show search and then connect. Complete online setup control your thermostat remotely. The Hive Hub if you already have a Hive Hub just put it into pairing mode to do this press the button at the rear of the hub for a second and release it. The middle light should now flash amber showing it is in pairing mode then move on to the stage. Installing your hub. Connect the hub to the household's broadband router using the network cable provided. Fit the power cable into the hub and plug it into a power socket. Wait for the middle light to flash amber during startup the green light will flash, followed by the amber light this usually takes 5 to 10 minutes. Connecting the hub. Once the amber light is flashing, the hub is set up and you can move on to installing the receiver. If no lights are displayed immediately after the hub has been turned on, check all cables are connected and the power socket works. If the problem persists contact Hive technical support. Hub lights and what they mean. Receiver Installing the correct receiver Single channel receiver for combi boilers and additional plumbed heating zones Dual channel receiver for conventional boilers with hot water tanks Installing the receiver Loosen the screws on the underside of the receiver and remove the backplate by pulling the bottom of it away from the front panel Fix the backplate to the wall with the terminals at the top Run a cable from the boiler or wiring center, if required, then continue to the next section to wire up the backplate Single and dual channel receiver wiring. <music> Testing the boiler. Check the wiring, ensure the receiver's front panel is in place, and confirm the middle light on the hub is flashing amber. Restore power to the central heating system and test the receiver's wiring. Leave the receiver on with a flashing status light and then install the thermostat. Multi-Zone Receiver Installation Receiver Lights and What They Mean Thermostat. Selecting a location for the thermostat. Install the thermostat on an internal wall 1.5 meters from the floor, away from heat sources and direct sunlight ensure it has proper airflow by not obstructing it with curtains or similar objects. Wall mounting the thermostat. To remove the thermostat backplate, press the lever at the bottom and pull it away then, Attach the backplate to the wall using 3.5mm size 6 or size 8 screws, being careful to avoid cables and pipes in the wall. Confirm the hub is ready to connect, before inserting the batteries into the thermostat. Make sure the hub is flashing amber, indicating that it's ready to connect. If it shows a solid amber light, restart it and also switch off and on the receiver and boiler. The hub should then start flashing amber and be ready to connect. Insert the batteries and connect them to the hub and receiver. How to change the temperature. Tap the up arrow to increase the target temperature. Your heating will come on if the target temperature is above the actual temperature. Tap the down arrow to lower the target temperature. Icons.
troubleshootings. For more updates, subscribe to our channel.